Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, man? We got G Archer in the building. Hello, you know what time it is. What's up, baby? What's up, Hayward, California, in the world? Yeah, what's yeah. going on, man? Man, just love a lot and join it. Just happy to be here. How, how do y'all get y'all names? I... Yeah, you know, that's my real, that's my real name. Yeah. Kids, kids might know me by Legendary. Yeah. You know what I mean? Legendary. Legendary. Legendary, okay. Yeah, not Legendary, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. I, I was kind I was kind of Legendary, so that's why they called me Legendary. So, <laughs> your history, man. If you don't know who Legendary is. So, so, so that's is. the word, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, you know, we really can't take too much time to explain who I am and what I am, but, you know, they could Google me, check it out, Gary. Archer, um, but you know, just know I'm behind that Mac Drake, Diz, Mr. Fab, Keep the Sneak, Haji Springer, the Dragons, Gorilla Pits. I mean, the, let's go. I mean, who else? Jacka, Yay. you know what I mean? D Lo, Sleepy D, you know, anyone messing around, you know, on the West Coast, bad luck, you know, I, I got a piece of, 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 you know, part of that move. So, yeah. you know, this is a real great opportunity. Everyone listening, I want them to understand you got a home for the next four years. Yeah. Right here, baby, you know what I mean? I was yeah. talking to my man, there was real business going down. All We're gonna day. have some real hip hop. Some real moves, no politics, you know what I mean? Ability. Yeah, that's what we believe this. Everybody gonna wanna be a part of this when this pops. Oh, okay. Hey, you know what? First of all, I was tripping. You got some real nice microphones in here, man. You never go to a radio station. I've been to radio stations across the world, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and right now, I'm talking to like a Newman line. Like, this is like a recording mic. It's <laughs> a step your scale game up. You know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just big props on the equipment up here, man. It sounded that's real nice, up. man. Yeah, yeah, good looking out. It's bro. only yeah. available digitally yeah. or if you see the dragons in the street. Where are we yeah. at? In, any digital site you shop at. iTunes, Rapidsty, if it's if it's Zoom, whatever it is. Amazon. Amazon, Amazon. anything. Okay. If you have a server on your phone that sells music, it's probably on there as well. GA man, how'd you get started, man? It seems like you doing a lot too. Man, I guess I, I get started, man, back in the home turf days. You know, a lot of kids was born after that, man. That's when yeah. I got started. Back <laughs> in 1986. Okay. Break dancing, skateboarding, DJ. He's not just a white boy. You know, believe like, me, believe me. We were doing all like, like, the I mean, the original yeah. Renegade Rock is breaking through from San Francisco. They're still alive right now. 30 years later, they got a crew still going. I still don't do it. That, but, but, but that's how, how I know someone's weak or not. I don't need to fix my car. I just need to know how to fix it to know if someone else knows what they're doing. You know? right, but right. one, I got my history to that. Me and my brother started throwing parties. Big concert back in the day called Imagine. Cool. Party with this guy named Mark Bradford back in the day. Rest in peace, Mark Bradford. It was like three times a year, big hip hop concerts in 1986, 87, 88. Probably through 12 of them. But, but that's the history of the Bay Area. There's right. a couple DJs named like Cuber. A rapper named Outrageous Ray that was incredible back in the day. You know, my brother Jazzy Jim, um, Nightlife Creations. You know, I still remember the day when MC Hammer brought his record to, to a, a party my brother was DJing before he blew up. Yeah. I think we were at Union City, it was a DJ battle. Yeah. And uh, he brought his record, like, man, you know, I know it's a DJ battle, but play my record. And my brother played yeah. his record. You I know what I mean? He did. And, and, and I want to say something about playing new music. Like, a DJ that don't play new music is like a doctor that don't. Don't treat sick patients. Right. It right. don't make no sense. And, yeah. and you yep. know, don't yep. wait for your local MC to blow up nationally before you play them right. locally. Yeah, exactly. Cause that makes no sense, man. No, man. That makes yeah. no sense at all. You know, own something. I, that's cool. You like the new Fifty Cent. That's cool. You like the new Jay Z. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but yeah. place your favorite artist in, in the middle of that too. Yeah. Fight for what you believe in, DJ. Just don't be a CD changer. Just don't look at the top twenty list and yep. change it around. Anyone? Yep. Anyone anyway, get shuffled? Yeah. I, right? I remember hip hop used to be. You know, there's a word that's been left out and. I'm saying quit biting. Yeah. Quit I, biting. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Be original. Hip hop yeah. was born on originality. Yeah. Yeah. And now be and, the, and the reason why people say it's dead, which it's not, but I'm gonna tell you why they think it's dead. Yeah. Is because back in the day the originality made the money. Yeah. You know, in, in, in the early hip hop days, in the early 90s, there was like 10 different types of hip hop that made money. Yeah. You could be conscious, you could be gangster, uh, polka dot rap, you could do all this type of rap. There was yeah. a place for that. Yep. And all of them was making big money. Now it's either one genre or the next. Everyone's stuck on a genre, and that's yep. why that's why the country's all separated and no one's together. Back then, no one cared where you from. There was no East Coast, West Coast war. It was like this: everyone was on. Yes. DJs was fighting to play new records. Yeah. They, there, was, there was something like, man, I want to be the first on earth to play something. Yeah. Now, 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 I guess it's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's not a big deal. To so you got experience. Um, you know that's 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 how it was, man. And you know, and then I you know started a record label with my brother what, Jazzy what, Jim. That's called Straight record. Hits. Back in the day, uh -huh. yeah. we, had a, uh, we had a group me. called Interlude. Uh -huh. You, you probably, probably know their called Interlude. Had a group called One Voice. You heard of yeah, One Voice? Voice? Yeah, yeah, I heard of them. I, I helped both of them get national That's deals yeah. with MCA and Warner yeah. Brothers. Yeah. Then, then I signed an artist named Mr. Fab when he was 18 years old. I yep. found this kid and I helped take him to what he's doing. Signed a deal with Atlantic Records. Yep. Wow. Believe that. Like I see stars during the daytime. <laughs> <laughs> 
and, and, and that's who I am. I don't gotta wait for it to get nighttime. A lot of these other people gotta wait for it to get me, dark to believe see. Believe me, the more stars there I is, the more the, the more easier it is for them to see Absolutely. us. Absolutely. The more stars we have out there, the easier for the world. And just to understand, see us. man, you yeah. know, if you're that good, you can't be ignored, man. Find exactly. me. Yeah. My name's Gary Archer. Find me on Twitter, Legend Gary, Legend Gary at Gmail. But yep. don't tell me you're dope, because everyone says that, man. Yep. Think of something creative, man. Let me know yeah. something. Yeah. Let me know what your brand's yeah. looking like. Yeah. You know, right yeah. now it's KCRH, baby. 89.9 FM East Bay's best, best variety. variety. If you didn't know that, you know nothing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to hear nothing about nobody's swagger, just like you were saying the other day. I want to yeah, hear man. people being fresh. Just stay right. fresh. I got style. And, and hold on yeah. a minute. Uh, also, I started a website uh, before I yeah. you know, get too further. It's called WeTheWest.com. Yeah. I need everyone to check that out if you like West Coast. So what is it about? Man, what that is, that's like a portal to the world of West Coast music. I, I'm the filter. Since day like, one. Like, believe like, that. Like, what, I, what I do is, is uh -huh. I put up music. Uh -huh. I, I am the world's largest collection of West Coast videos music. in the world. It's yeah. there okay. and it's growing every Good day. Show. Welcome home, Doobie. Free PSD. You know what I mean? Always. Oh, for sure. Always. 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 Keep excessive free because that's my yeah. little dragon. Keep him free. You, you know, know what I mean? RP Johnny shout, Cash. Shout man. out Ray to Anthony everybody. Black, yeah. Yeah. Welcome What's home, Hustler, too, man. Hustler just made it home. Welcome yes. home, Hustler, man. That's free. Dude. Like, you can name a name, man. Like, name all the Album. It's right. really been involved with every Ab album, like every Mac Dre album from the Ronald Dragon album, yeah. Yeah. every Diz album from there, like yeah. the Doobie album, the new yeah. Doobie album, both Doobie albums, albums yeah. all, the, all the Diz PSD, albums, all the PSD albums, that Johnny Cash, all, you know, yeah. Rod J. Clyde. Mm -hmm. I put that out too many Marv albums, the Tattoos, Tum Rings, yeah. and, and the Disobeyish. I was his manager. Uh, hey, hey, you better check yeah. the, the South Scout on that Disobeyish if you don't know. You know, you know? Just, yeah. just, you know, just let you know, like, like, I just didn't jump into this. Like, really, really, we really sell records. Yeah. We really sell, make brands. And, and you artists that just think you're fresh, man, make a brand, man. Please, yeah. please own something. You know what I mean? Make, create something where your shirt means something. Your, yeah. your, your headband means something. You know, just, oh, just so you know, like, we fab on this, uh, Grouch has stole Christmas store right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's making more money off his merchandise than he's making more off than his show. When's the last time you even brought merchandise to a show to sell and do it right, like with a booth and have it all set up and, 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 yeah. and actually push it? Yeah. People don't do that. People are naturally gonna buy it if you do that. So all yeah. I'm saying is like, be the TV guy at the checkout stand. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. They ain't no one gonna buy that TV guy when it's in the middle of the store. But if it's at the checkout stand, they're gonna buy it. Yeah. So so be that. Man, the illest move ever is burn 100 CDs a day and go out there and sell them, man. Yeah. You know, no, you okay. have potential, to, if it's, if it's, you have potential to make $1,000. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or, or that. And at the very least, you go home with 100 Yeah. Yeah. And that's still good, and then that's still good for, for someone that really don't have a you know a real real job in place. And the good but, thing but, is, but, it's getting out. There. But the hype, yeah, that's the that's the real hype. And yes, when yeah. someone buys something hand to hand, mm -hmm. and the and the difference from giving them a CD and making them buy it for something yeah. is they're at least gonna listen to it once if they buy it. Yep, yeah. believe. If you gave it to them free, they might not ever listen to it because they they might not even remember the hype. Yeah. But but if you you seen them, they seen your situation. Now you bonded with that fan. Yeah. And if they happen to like it, yeah, man, they're gonna go tell all their friends like, man, I just made this dude. Yeah. Check it out. Pyramid action. Yeah. 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 Music you do, people don't have the opportunity to buy your CD if they wanted to. Yeah. In in their neighborhood. Yeah. And it's not because you couldn't sell there. Because it's because the store anymore. owner, one, there's no stores, but two, if there was a store, yeah. he, he don't know you to order your CD. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to order everything. He's trying to order that 50 cent Snoop. Yeah. So so you so you really gotta be in that neighborhood to, to even get your CD there. Exactly. What he means by that is he just don't run and give 300 out to the first 300 people. Yeah, no, it's, it's, no. He really he really handpicks the people that, that really need that free one. Yeah. It's the yeah. ones like, man, I will buy it. I ain't got it right now. I'm doing it. It's, okay, you know what? Here you go. And yeah. all yeah. next time, go buy my CD. I'm it every day. But it's got to be dope, though. That's yeah, like, it got to like, go, yo, for sure. You know, that, yeah. that's the, that's the hype. Because sure. it's, it's, yeah. it's, now, now, yeah. it's, now it's in your face promotion. It's right. like, oh, that's like money right spent. now. Yeah. Uh, that's that's money kinda, spent. That's kind of wacky. And if it's wacky, that kind of don't go. I'm going to pull that out right there, man. You know? I'm going to tell you the secret right now. Mixing and mastering. The quality of the music is right. going to get them to listen to it more than once. With the songs, it don't matter. I listen to songs I hated all the time in my car, yeah. but they bumped right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll put track seven. You like nine, nah, baby? Nah! <laughs> yeah. It just sounds so clean. I understand yeah. that part of it. If, if, you know, you have to be quality competing with the rest of the industry, even yeah. to make this thing. Like, I'm, I'm like the West Coast promotion director out here. Um, you know, I'm the West Coast ad specialist out here. My best friend in life is the uh, West Coast editor. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? She, you know, it's a girl. Her name is D-Ray. Uh -huh. and, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't even know what half these West Coast artists even look like. She's the only person from the Bay Area that on a constant daily basis put someone from the West Coast in a national high. That's what's up, man. And, 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 and that's the truth. The Ozone Magazine is a national magazine out of Orlando and Atlanta. They have no reason to include the West Coast because D-Ray is who she is. Uh -huh. They include the West Coast. That's 
So, yeah. so she has opportunity to place all these people's faces in this magazine. So if you do have a, some sort of buzz or a song floating yeah. around and no one ever met you, yeah. it gives them a chance to see who that is. Yeah.